What is going on everybody? This is Colasher Jacks back here with another video and today I've got for you our Bengals game. I think this is week either 10 or 11. So we had a goof. Our commissioner, one of our commissioners accidentally or on purpose sent us into the playoffs. So sadly all my games got simmed. I only won one of the last few. So that really sucks, but you know, it is what it is. We got to deal with it. I think my team ended up going 5-11, and 11, but yeah. I'll show you what happened through the draft at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get into this. So uh, right here, as you can see, first play of the drive, I'm thinking run, and Dalvin nope. Cook just swerves right around and very awesome play by Dalvin Cook. Right here, we're going to go with the pass. Good old slants concept. And I'm going to send Marquise Brown on a drag right here. And I'm thinking, hey, hit Marquise Brown low. Take him up field with that rack. And, you know, his he just called the perfect bridge. Trash! And just, just got me. He really got me good on this play. I was very, very upset that I threw that pick. I cannot believe that. But, yeah, it is what it is. It's 7 nothing. I get my, bleh, I get the ball back. Gonna run it here with Dalvin. Dalvin makes a couple men miss. Gets hit a little bit there, but you know, he's going. He keeps chugging along. That's Dalvin Cook for you. You know, he's a beast. Uh, right here, I'm just trying to look for the easy Texas route from Dalvin Cook. You know, get a completion. Throw it here. And Josh Gordon catches it. <laughs> so that was interesting, but you know, he got the first down. Um, Move the chains. You know, let's go. Right here, I'm thinking, looking for, I'm thinking of looking for Josh Gordon. But uh, he actually ended up covering that uh, himself, so I'm just going to run out of the pocket with Kyler Murray, who now actually has a skate artist because he hit his 500 down mark, which was super duper cool. Uh, right here, I'm just looking for the crossers, maybe the drag underneath, and I see the drag is just wide open, so I got to throw that. I take my yards, take my first down, and we're up to the 23-yard line here. I go for the run, and as you can see here, does not end up very well because he gets stripped by a strip specialist and that was very unfortunate. I actually, before this game, didn't know that strip specialist would have better strip animations, so that's... Oh, no! But, you know, first show goes right there. Absolutely amazing play. Don't know how that was a safety. But uh, here's the punt. Marquise Brown fielding it. Uh, usually I don't show punts, I'm but, boy. you know, this one was actually kind of kind of decent, and, you know, I had the time. Usually if I go over the 15-minute mark, uh, I'll cut those kinds of things out, because then YouTube takes forever to process the video. But, you know, here's the throw. Dalvin Cook, wide open in the flats, and that'll bring down a third and six. So a third manageable, you know, we can get this. Right here, I'm looking for my tight end, maybe, but he just makes a diving athletic play on the ball. Got to punt it. After I punt it, he comes out here in this dual halfback formation. Sends out his halfbacks, and then I don't know what he was looking for there because literally nothing was gonna be was even gonna be open because I, I don't know maybe he just didn't know the coverage I was in. But right here, he's just desperate. Chucks one up. Nope. And I don't even understand how Justin Reed didn't deflect that or make up make any sort of uh, thing happen there. But that's just so annoying, man. Right there, Joe Mixon. I think that's Joe Mixon at least breaks tackle, and you know he's going up. And right here, Philip Rivers with the end around, and Joey Bosa comes in there, makes him fumble. Amukamara picks it up. He's heading for the end zone. Easy six points right there. And just. <laughs> Absolutely kind of lucky play, not going to lie. And then right here, I just, oh. <laughs> just missed my field goal. I absolutely parky it. Just, yeah, that was not great. So right here, you know, back on the defense, 6-7. to seven. Unfortunately, right here, he's going with play action rollout. He's coming back around. I'm on Bosa. Uh -oh, and alert. accidentally kicked on alert, Justin Reed laugh. and just do not react to it. I don't know what I was doing, <laughs> honestly. That was a horrible play by me, but third and 11 right here. And I just didn't react to that route in time, so I couldn't cover it. But, you know, it is what it is. Things happen, as long as we can keep uh, keep playing well. And right here, I'm trying to go up top, but Darius Slay is just so athletic and just such a beast. 
I can't wait to see what Darius Slay does this year. I think he was in contention for a defensive player of the year on the AFC side. He was like number eight, but you know, he's still up there, especially in a user league. That's really, really awesome to see out of your quarterback. So right there, as you can see, nice little run play to pick up the first down by Dalvin Cook right here. Oh, just an absolute laser by Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray throwing an absolute dot. Getting the first down, moving the sticks. You know, it's almost halftime. We just want points on that board right here. Austin Hooper just absolutely wrecks some kids right there. He just shows them up. And then right here, as you can see, just going for the... Going for the hey! 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 That was a lot of da da does. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, trying to go for the cover three beater didn't really work out because his pass rush was just super insane on that play. That was a good play by him, a uh, good pass rush from his, from his D. And then I throw an absolute dart to Dalvin Cook, and ah, Dalvin Cook just isn't that fast, so he's not able to outrun James Bradbury. But, you know, it is what it is. We got our big, big game right there. I, I do not know how I got away with that, with throwing it right over his user. That was kind of crazy. That had my heart pumping so much but that gave the team a ton of momentum right here and as you can see I go with the out route to Marquise Brown cover three beater you know just got to get the out routes and then right here I think I was looking for the Texas route but yeah as you can see a little something wait a minute yeah his pass rush got in there super duper fast and just I had nothing I could do about it so that really sucks right here faking like I'm gonna go to B and then I just throw an absolute dart fatality and Josh Gordon lays out, catches it. Great, great, great play. So right here, here he is. It is half after halftime now. It's the beginning of the third. He's just going to run the ball a little bit, you know, get Joe Mixon a couple touches. Gets a nice little game there. Uh, on first and ten. Gonna, I'm going to come out. He's passing, you know. So he's literally got absolutely nothing open. Our defense played lockdown the entire time, and I'm very, very proud of them. Chandler Jones in there with a the sack. Chandler Jones and Joey Bosa, by the way, had spectacular games right here. I don't know what he was thinking. I think he was thinking uh, to throw inside the seams, but didn't work out. Players got there. Uh, I think that was even a cover two, so, you know, <laughs> throwing it inside the seams isn't really going to work on a, on a cover two. But right here, oh, Alvin gets absolutely lit up by the linebacker. I don't even know who that was, but he just absolutely wrecked me. And pff, that was an experience. Uh, right here, I'm just thinking, you know, outright against cover three. Me? And then Derwin James. I think that's Derwin James at least. Yeah, it just absolutely wrecks me there. Just, ah, uh, just not, not a great read by me. Absolutely trash play by me, but, you know, it happens. Right here, goes with the pass. Justin Reed making an absolutely athletic play on the ball. But, you know, does that little hurdle? That really sucks because I could have probably taken it into the end zone. Justin Reed, he's incredibly fast, super athletic. Love that guy. Right here, I'm thinking again, out route, cover three, get there. And just he barely misses that hit stick against Austin Hooper with Derwin James. And that would have been really bad because, not going to lie, Derwin James probably would have made me fumble. But, you know, right here. You know, it is what it is right here. Dalvin Cook. <laughs> Tyler won car noises for the win, you know. But yeah, Dalvin Cook gets a little sticky with it. Does a little juke. Absolutely shakes off a bunch of defenders. Kyler Murray here showing off his little, his ability. And uh, riding the sidelines very well. That was, some, that was some good user if I do say so myself. You know, he did miss the hit stick. Uh, right here, I'm just looking for the underneath route to Dalvin, get him, and I'm just trying to go upfield as far as I can. And, you know, it works. Now it's third down and two, and I just got to convert here or, you know, make a touchdown or score a touchdown, my bad. So third and two, and I'm looking for the touchdown to Austin Hooper to split the seams, and it just doesn't work. He ends up batting the ball down. So glad he didn't intercept it. I end up taking my three. I'm up 16-7, to seven, and right here... Joey Bosa making an absolutely amazing play on the screen. And, man, Joey Bosa has got to be the MVP of this team because he's just played like an absolute monster the entire time he's been on this team. It's insane. So right there, uh, I think that was on Wusor maybe that swatted the ball away from me, which kind of sucked because I think I could have gotten an interception. And right as you can see, Joey Bosa gets in there again. 
for yet another sack. Joey Bosa is the MVP of this team, and nobody can change my mind about that. Right here, he's just thinking, toss the ball up. Fourth and 25 in the fourth quarter, but down two scores. What? And he what catches it. Man, he literally caught that. I was such, I was in such disbelief when he caught that because William Jackson's an absolutely amazing corner. But just, <laughs> you know, those kind of plays are the plays that I go, what the actual, what was that? Right here, he's looking for the pass. Got it to Joe Mixon, obviously. Joe Mixon, it, I was so confused when that happened. I thought he trucked me, but then I saw user stiff arm, and I was like, oh my god. You know, because that, that stiff arm this year is just nasty. Right there, man, I really thought that I could just bait him and go with the underneath because I always go for the tight end, and I know he knows that. But, you know, I try, and it doesn't really work out. And as you can see right there, Joey Bosa gets in there yet again for another sack. Joey Bosa is having just a monster game. He's got an X-Factor lit up. And right here, Bruh. I just... I just... I just absolutely screwed up. I was not ready for the dive and just, oh boy. Right here, he does a fake field goal kicker flip, I think. And I was I was like, oh my God, why would he go for that? Because, you know, if he kicks that field goal, then he is three points away from being able to beat me. And right here, uh, I'm just trying to grind the clock away, you know, throw some, some short routes, grind that time off. You know, run the ball a little bit. Dalvin Cook finds some open lane. But, you know, see, and his, this man's safeties and corners just keep catching up to me. No matter what I do, it's just crazy. But, you know, fast corners won't win you the game. As you can see right here, Kyler Murray scrambling out, scrambling up, sliding. He's got the first down, and that is game over. As you can see, that was a pretty pretty good game, if I do say so myself, and, and I, actually a uh, revenge against the Bengals, because the first time I played them, I ended up losing, and it was just not a great game, but you know, this time I did my homework. I, I watched that game over, or the game clips over. I didn't actually end up posting that video to YouTube, because that was before I just recorded the entire game. That was when I got clips with Xbox, so, you know, I looked over some clips, looked over what he did, looked at his tendencies, you know, and, you know, we were able to get out there with the dub. And, you know, that's that's all that really matters. So, without further ado, actually, I got to show you guys something. Uh, what I got from my draft and the new player, uh, the new roster, basically. Uh, I'll show you guys the year two roster compared to the year one roster here in just a second. And as you can see right here, this was the week one, season one roster. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looked really good and, you know, it turned out really good. As you can see, all those hidden devs. And right here in just a second, I'll switch over. And there it is. Look at all those stars, superstars everywhere. Marquise Brown got super good. As you can see on the right side, we drafted Jamar Chase at wide receiver because I, I saw his, his uh, 40s and all that stuff, and man, too good to pass up on. Here's the defense before. As you guys know, we got rid of Ziggy Ansa uh, for Joey Bosa, basically, and uh, we got rid of a couple other pieces, Terrell Edmonds. Uh, I think it was a great move because as you can see right here, it, yeah, our, team, our defense just looks super nasty. We got that superstar on Jonathan Abram. And look at that in the bottom right-hand corner. Patrick Sertain, the second, 85 overall right out the draft with star dev. Kind of upsetting that he didn't get superstar, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, without further ado, man, that's just about it. That's all about, that's, that's all I have for today. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for week one of season one, or week two, because uh, our Broncos user uh, came in and then instantly left, so that was upsetting, but, you know, I'll get that game two in as soon as I can for you guys. See you later. Peace out. Bye.